Hey guys, this is Barlock here, and I'm bringing you episode 11 of the Pokemon Emerald Randomized Dice Lock. Uh, if you watch the, uh, if you haven't uh, been up to date on all the episodes, uh, there is a playlist uh, down below where you can catch up on all previous uh, episodes. If you need a quick refresher on what happened in the last episode, uh, we made our way up to uh, Fall Arbor Town, and now we made all our way. Uh, we've made our way all the way up to Meteor Falls, and we just ran into Team Magma and Team Aqua, and uh, now we had to need to head to Mount Chimney uh, to face off with them. Uh, so yeah, so we're in Meteor Falls currently. We're gonna uh, move on from there and hopefully get uh, to Laverage Town by the end of the episode, but uh, we, we will see. <laughs> Clint's tag, okay. <clears throat> oh, land turn again. Okay. Oh, this one is Drizzle. That's interesting. Must, uh... So I'm going to use Karate Chop. I wanted to see if Karate Chop would do more damage to Lantern. Hopefully it doesn't have a water move though, because this will hurt <laughs> if it does. Okay, good. Oh, it's crit. This is another new route. Uh, oh, crap. I was gonna say, can I encounter anything this way? Actually, this is Route 115. I believe I already rolled for this one quite a long time ago. This might have been the route, actually, that caused... Uh, OP to never be allowed to evolve. If I remember correctly, that's what happened here. Okay. I know Abra resists this. Yeah, I was gonna say he resists this, but he's got a like, terrible uh, defense, so this should kill it. Yeah, I definitely have done this route. I just can't remember if I actually caught something here. Oh, a Typhlosion, cool. I, mean, I really, obviously, I really like Chikorita, um, but of the Gen 2 starters, Typhlosion is probably the coolest in my opinion. Uh, it's the one that I used before I started using Chikorita and, and kind of <laughs> fell in a love-hate relationship. Gorbis. Oh, cool. I'm getting pretty low, I don't want to take this thing on. Okay, yeah, no, that, was, that would definitely have killed me, so that was a good switch. It's loafing around. Oh, it's got Truant! Oh no! <laughs> I'll have to remember that, not to get a Gorbis. Oh, that is awful. I was wondering how long it was going to take before I ran into a Pokemon with, uh, with Truant. I thought it was going to be... I, I 
I had a feeling it was going to be something that I caught, but apparently not. Or like an encounter or something, but yeah, I'll have to remember that Garbus has Truant, because that's just awful. It's not even like it's that great a Pokemon. Everyone, everyone wants to register me. I don't, I don't want to battle them again. Uh, I really wish I knew if this was a route I'd been to. I believe I rolled for it, but there was nothing I could actually do at the time. Like I didn't have a fishing rod, and there was no. And there's no um, grass or anything, so I think it's just blackberry thing. But so I th think I can fish here. I think what uh, I think what I'm gonna end up doing is fishing here, catching something, and then uh, we'll see what we do. Or I'll I'll take a look and see what what the route looks like, and then I'll. And then I'll oh, I wanted to go for a double. Oh, well. I was about to switch out, but uh, Stratos should be able to one-shot this thing. Yeah. I hate Nose Pass. It's such a stupid Pokemon. <laughs> Promo Pass is even worse. And Lickitung. It's, a, it's another one that I can possibly one-shot. I know it has a lot of hit points, so... Oh no, I did take it out. Okay. soon. No, oh, in this is something the Stratos will definitely not be able to take out. Uh, I don't want to risk Lyca on it, so let's do Mary Kelly. Oh, I forgot to do a team recap. Oh well. That's alright, you can go to the last episode and watch that for a team recap, I guess. If you're really worried about it. the video because it has all that all my current team on it. Beedra, nice. Okay, yes, I do remember this. Yes, it's Rustboro. Yeah, so I, I definitely rolled up here. And I believe this is where OP... It was either uh, Trash wasn't allowed to learn Synthesis, or OP uh, wasn't allowed to evolve, but... I, th I think it was... I think it was the trash one, but anyway, I wasn't able to catch anything at the time. So, let's now use our fishing rod. Oh, here we go. Oh, a Sneasel! Unfortunately, this is a terrible Pokémon in this generation. But I catch everything, so let's go for it. Let's see if we can get it in that nest ball. It's a cool animation for throwing the nest ball. Aww. I would have loved to catch it in that. Aww, I thought I'd have it.
I should probably buy some more Pokeballs while I'm at it too, because I'm getting a little low. I don't want to run into like another Deoxys or something and then not have enough balls to actually catch it. Makes me think of my cat for some reason. Um, yeah, no way I'm using that Pokemon though, unless I'm in like a crappy situation. Because it is not good. Anyway, I'm gonna go check out my new Pokemon to see what uh, sort of abilities they have. Alright, oh, I already checked that one out. Um, yeah, that one's got Arena Trap. So ridiculous. It's got a red scarf. Oh, it did have mirror coat. Oh, I could have died. <laughs> what is a red scarf? We got nipples, uh, cacophony, avoid sound based moves. Oh, that's, um, I believe that's the ability which was added in this game but never actually given to any Pokemon, so that's kind of cool. That he uh, randomly got the uh, one. <laughs> the original hidden ability. Oh my god. Oh, it's got minus. <laughs> As if this thing couldn't be worse. And it's got brave nature, so it's uh, so its speed is lowered, which is one of its few really good stats. Oh, rip. Oh, Mika, you're gonna be never used. Okay, well, I don't really want to use any of these Pokemon right now. I'm gonna save Wobbuffet for like a particularly brutal gym, but that's about it. Like if for some reason I'm under leveled, uh, Wobbuffet could come in handy. Uh, since it can like one shot Pokemon if I predict right, but still, it's uh, not great. It also has, like, no, um, offensive ability on its own. Oh, I should've healed. Well, let's just use our, uh, Super Potion. Oh, we can go past the uh, trick room again and see how that has changed. Or not. I'm just trying to think where all that stuff was. Because we're on uh, we're on episode eleven now. It's been it's actually been quite a while since I've been to this area, uh, so I'm just trying to remember everything that actually that I need to do. Uh, oops. And there we go back in Verdant Turf. Chimney, and then we can take on some Team Aqua and Team Magma uh, losers. How do I get over there? Um, 
Okay, good. So we can go up. The, we can go up the lift now. That chick there kind of looks like Mallow from uh, Gen Seven. Oh, this is cool. We actually get a cutscene. Oh god, and uh, it's snowing. Has anyone here ever seen uh, Frozen, the uh, the horror movie Frozen? <laughs> My mom, uh, I, I showed it to my mom one time and she was freaking out and <laughs> the guy got it eaten by wolves. Uh, spoiler alert. I'm actually... Okay, so... I don't actually have to fight anyone right now. Not until... Now. Let's do this. <laughs> They're such idiots. <laughs> wow, that's kind of... Oh, I was going to say, that's kind of ironic that the... Uh, Team Magma trainer class is called Swimmer. Uh, and we're facing off against a Jirachi, so that's kind of concerning. Um, let's do low kick on Jirachi. Let's do pursuit on Ghastly. Oh no, he used Healthy Hand. Uh-oh. That could be bad, depending on what Ghastly uses. Oh, that did nothing. Okay, good. At least I killed Ghastly before it could do anything. Do a karate chop and pursuit, I guess. It's gonna be neutral damage because dark is not uh, dark is resisted by steel in this generation, which sucks. But it's about all it can do. for you. Uh, let's fight this dude. And I'll give Team Magma uh, one thing. I'll Team Magma and Team Aqua for that matter. Uh, they have pretty cool fashion sense, I must say. I remember seeing them back when uh, these games came out. There's some kid was playing these games on the bus, and um, I always thought that uh, Team Magma looked quite cool. Torkoal. Uh, I don't particularly want to fight that, especially not Paralyzed. So it's Sin and Faithful. That did more than I was expecting. Uh, let's use dig, just because it's funny that a bird is digging. Ev eventually, I'm gonna put fly on it too, right? So, <laughs> so faithful will be digging and flying. I wonder if there's any Pokemon that can actually do that naturally. Like, I, I honestly don't know. Is there a Pokemon that can learn dig and fly? Well, it did like barely anything. Wow. Try strength? Wow, okay, no, that thing's... Oh, this Torkoal is walling me. If he uses a potion on it, it would be so peed off. Ugh. Okay, hopefully this is enough to kill it. Ah! Oh! <laughs> this is gonna really hurt. Oh, jeez. Don't have, like, Aftermath or something, please. Oh, that was so close. Feed us all. Ugh, I don't wanna... I'm not gonna swap. I'm gonna heal. Because... 
Faithful is actually probably my... Well, him or Doggo are my best Pokemon against Venusaur. So I don't want to use a wing attack on it. Ah, oh, of course. Smokescreen. Or is that just something else? Oh. Come on, take it out. Yes! Oh, crit. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'll keep Faithful in because it's a physical attacker. Perfect. Oh, I love fighting Chanseys. They give so much experience. Man, that was... that was too close. Um, I'm gonna heal before I take on, uh, whatever this guy's name is. I can't remember. Regular potion. No, Alright, and I'll get rid of my paralysis. And uh, let's take him on. Man, Archie is so much cooler. Oh, it's an Espeon, cool. Well, you know what that means. For one thing, I'm definitely not taking the thing on with a fighting type. <clears throat> Come on, Leica. I really like the blue in its eye. It looks really cool. Oh, my sprite? It's like very vibrant. <clears throat> oh, you bugger. Uh, let's use secret power. Wow, that did, that did nothing. Ugh. I'll try a pursuit, but like, Espeon has good special defense. Did more than I was expecting. But seriously, I'm getting wrecked by a freaking Espeon. <laughs> what the hell? I was expecting I was going to miss way more than that. So that was fortunate. Tangela. I do not want to take that thing on, so into Doggo. Uh, no, let's do it into Mary Kelly. She needs some more experience. Doggo is very good. Um, at the levels he's at right now, he's very good for the next gym. As long as I don't get a really terrible uh, roll on that gym. Wow, a <laughs> crit. <laughs> that must have done a ton of damage. And another Espeon, wow. Okay. Uh, let's... I'm gonna erupt it. Ugh. I'm gonna erupt it and see what happens. Ugh. Okay, if it hits me again... Yeah, okay, it's a good thing I went through Thunderbolt, because Eruption would not have been doing very... Holy crap, they did a lot. Man. <laughs> like I said in my top 10 evolutions video, 
Uh, Espeon does a lot of damage when it attacks. Even though, like, that wasn't a very... Uh, like, I was... That was neutral damage, and it still took off, like, half my health. Uh, let's finish this thing off with Trash. Trash at least has some bulk, he can take a hit. Okay. Even if it crits, I should live. So let's, uh, let's try this. Oh, I should have done, like, Rock Slide or something. Oh well. <sighs> this still should be enough. Nope! Oh, jeez. Um, let's try Rock Slide. Oh, thank god it hit. Oh, and, oh, he's gonna potion it. He's gonna potion it. You. Ugh, frag. Right. Two Aspions. What are the friggin' chances? Oh, Espeon is so good. Oh no, okay, trash. I've, I've got to swap out trash. I'm predicting... So I'm, I'm going to do some predictions here. I'm predicting confusion. Yeah, perfect. Takes another turn of poison off of it, and I can probably risk a pursuit. Whew. Oh, that was whatever. That would have been really close if he had crit me. All right, perfect. Oh, man, that Aspion alone took me three Pokemon. Oh, Maxi. Archie. Alright, so where do we have to go with this thing? This is a new route. Um, I need to heal first, though. Like, before I go on that route, I definitely need to heal. So I'll take the Jagged Pass after. After I heal, and then we'll go down Jagged Pass. I, um, I will hopefully get to Laveridge Town, and when we get to Laveridge Town, we can probably call it an episode. Uh, we'll just have to see where, how long it's been at that point. But, uh, man, my Pokemon are beat up right now. Like, two Espeons. That was... <laughs> that was uh, quite the showdown. <laughs> Such a good Pokemon, especially in this generation. Bike goes too fast. I kind of don't like it. There's a reason why I've just been running around most of the time in this uh, playthrough. I can move so fast I have trouble controlling it. I always preferred the acro bike in uh, Omega Ruby. But you need them for different things sometimes, so. That's it is how it is. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, so I'm gonna roll for this route. I got an eight. That is no items may be used on this route except for pokeballs. Great. Okay. Well, let's get into our first encounter. Another Pokemon from my top ten uh, list. <coughs> okay, I'm actually probably going to cut this episode a little short. I've got to go um, pick up my fiance. Oh, another Deoxys. Um, so I'm going to try to get my encounter for this route, and then I'm probably going to have to call it. Nightshade. Uh, speed boost. And how many Deoxys have I run into? Like, this is, I think this is my fourth Deoxys. At least I'm doing a lot of damage to it. But man, speed. I really wish I caught that thing. Speed boost Deoxys would have been amazing. Counter is oh a Flareon, such a trash Pokemon, but I'm gonna catch it anyway. Uh, let's rock smash it because that's a terrible move. Yeah. Uh, let's let's catch it. In a premier ball. Please catch it in a premier ball. Aww, that would have been so perfect. Because um, if you've listened to my previous episodes, I consider premier balls the Pokeball you throw uh, to insult a Pokemon when you capture it. Ooh, okay, we're getting a little low. Oh, I'm gonna send in Laika, because she can, uh, he can... He can tank these hits. I know I friggin' badmouthed Flareon so much in my uh, top ten, uh, top eight evolutions video as being a total trash, but I mean I want it anyway. It's still an evolution. I love them all. Putting in so much effort for a Flareon. I should just, I'm just gonna quick attack it. It's not gonna kill it. There, okay, now I should be able to get it in one ball. Are you kidding me? <sighs> I 
Oh, and I'm burned. Perfect. This is perfect. I gotta catch it this time. I mean, I can go for another... I can probably go for another quick attack without killing it, but... Like, I don't want to be taking this friggin' burn damage. Like, if I lose Laika... Oh, because I'm trying to catch a Flareon, I'm gonna be... pissed. That was way too close, though. So, what is it in this episode? We've run into two Espeons and a Flareon. And I'm using a Umbreon, of course, so we've got Eeveelutions for days. Oh, come on. <laughs> just let me catch it. I just want to catch this stupid Flareon. <laughs> like, oh, how much? I've already wasted, like, Thousands of Poké Dollars just trying to catch this freaking thing. <sighs> oh, <I'm... laughs> Frank! <laughs> just sending Doggo. <sighs> if I run out of Pokéballs trying to catch this thing, I'm going to freak. Like, what the hell? What, <laughs> what the hell? I wasted, what, like eight Great Balls, a Premier Ball? No, I've wasted like two or three Pokeballs as well, and I've got it into the red? Like, holy crap. I can't even, like, poison it. And the only Pokemon that could paralyze it is, uh, Mr. Krabs, who's in the box, and who would die in one shot to an Ember. Finally! Oh my god. God, Flareon, you're just a pain in my ass. Alright. With that in mind, I'm gonna name this thing. That's all about all the time I have in this episode uh, to actually battle since I've got to go uh, pick up my fiance. Uh, so, whoops. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just gonna heal up and then I'm gonna save the game and we will call it an episode. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, uh, I would appreciate likes, uh, any comments uh, down below because I am trying to uh, grow this channel. Uh, so any help that you can give there is appreciated. Um, you can always share on uh, social media as well. Uh, it's, uh, again, that's also very much appreciated. Um, and um, yeah, and if you want to keep up to date on the on the series, you can subscribe and you can click the bell notification uh, for updates. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Barlock1. I post any updates on the channel there, as well as other. Uh, news and bits about my life um, but yeah uh, anyway I hope you all enjoyed this is Barlock signing off uh, hey guys I'm gonna do a um, addition onto this episode uh, as soon as I stopped recording last time I realized that I had made a big mistake um, so I had rolled that I wasn't allowed to use any items on this route except for balls, uh, Pokeballs. And I'd used uh, two, uh, two potions on Umbreon uh, in order to catch Flareon, and I used a Burn Heal Berry. Uh, I also used a couple items afterwards just to save me the time from having to go back to the Pokemon Center, but uh, that was very much in violation of the rules that I had uh, rolled this time for the dice lock, so I have to, I, I feel like I need to punish myself in some way. Um, so in natural dice lock fashion, I'm going to roll to determine my fate here. Um, so I'm rolling, I'm taking away any result I can get above 10, 
in replacing that with a random Pokemon dies. Um, and anything below 10 would stay the same, and that's going to replace what I did roll on this route, just because uh, I mean, Umbreon probably would have lived. Uh, I would have swapped into Doggo or something, but still, I feel like I need to have some sort of uh, punishment for for violating the rules in this case, so I will remember in the future. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to roll the dice, and I roll a 14, so that means a random Pokemon is going to die. Uh, so... I'm going to make a roll now, and we'll see which of my Pokemon dies, and it could be one of the ones in the box right now. Uh, so I rolled... Uh, okay, I just got to remember which one that is. Uh, so it's one of the ones in the box. It is... I got Paris, and I got Wobbuffet, and then... Uh, oh no, I think Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet's dead. Because Wobbuffet, it was the third Pokemon that I caught that's in the box, so that would be... Paris, and then I think Melodic, and then Wobbuffet, so Wobbuffet is dead. Uh, which could be worse. Um, I would have probably liked to save it for at some point, it could have been fun to use, but uh, but that's just how the cookie crumbles unfortunately, so I'm gonna go... Uh, oh no, I can't even put it in the dead box now. Um, but yeah, I'll have to move it to the dead box uh, when the next episode rolls up. Um, but yeah. Uh, hopefully in future I remember not to screw up, but if, if it happens again, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to, if it's something I can't fix, then I'm going to have to roll something, roll a dice and see if I kill one of my mons or if I have to replace the roll with something else, uh, potentially worse. Uh, but yeah, anyway, um, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Okay, bye. <laughs>